the Democrats choose as their candidate New York Governor Franklin Delano Roosevelt. I emphasize to you that the deep question in this campaign is one of confidence in leadership. Confidence in leaders. FDR offers a plan. The government will provide work for Americans. He calls it the New Deal. It's a stark contrast to Hoover's hands-off policy. The campaign is more than a contest between two men. It is more than a contest between two parties. It is a contest between two philosophies of government. Presidential campaigns are now featured on newsreels. A national leader's image is more important than ever before. Roosevelt appears to be an energetic candidate, but actually, he has something to hide. Eleven years earlier, at the age of 39, Roosevelt contracted polio, which left his legs partially paralyzed. He fears people won't vote for him if they know the truth about his condition. At Griffith Stadium in Washington, D.C., Senators pitcher Jimmy DeShong captures this very rare footage of FDR walking with his leg braces. Ultimately, FDR comes to an agreement with the press. No photos of him walking or getting in and out of cars. This footage shows the security detail signaling for the cameras to cut as FDR prepares to leave his car. <laughs> 